Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. On our last video, we talked about lectins and lectin-containing foods. Things like nuts, seeds, uh, certain fruits like melon, vegetables, right? Potatoes, tomatoes, certain types of foods that we consider maybe good for us may contain lectins, which our body can react to. Basically, lectin is a protein that can get agglutinated basically with sugar, okay? And it creates a neoantigen, a new type of protein that our body may look at as a foreign body. So the body will attack this neoantigen, but this neoantigen looks very similar to our thyroid gland, right? In particular, TPO. So let's take a look. If you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis and you're eating lectin-containing foods, a certain percentage of people who have issues with lectin will have a cross-reactivity with TPO, or thyroid peroxidase. In order to diagnose someone who has Hashimoto's thyroiditis, we actually check for TPO antibodies. But lectins also uh, cross-react with TPO. So basically, if you're eating lectins, you may be creating flares of TPO or TPO antibodies. TPO autoimmune reactivity will go up and then increase thyrocyte destruction. So basically, if you eat lectins, it can create a flare of your autoimmune Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Now, we typically would like patients to have nuts and seeds because it's got good fats, right? And protein. But for a certain percentage of people who have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, they may be reacting to lectins and they re don't realize they have a problem. So oftentimes they come in and they're on a gluten-free diet, right? But they don't realize that the gluten portion also has a, a portion that uh, looks like lectin, right? The wheat germ of gluten. If you have that portion and that's positive for wheat testing, then you should also be tested for lectins because lectins can create problems. So if you look at this cascade, a single food will interact with a portion of the thyroid called TPO and TPO autoimmune reactivity will go up and increase thyrocyte destruction, releasing thyroid hormones and over a period of time creating hypothyroid, right? So we need to look at that. There's a test called Cyrix Array 10 that can look at lectins and wheat germ of gluten and it can help you determine whether you should be a lectin-free diet versus a gluten-free diet versus, let's say, a dairy-free diet, right? So all these things need to be uh, considered when we look at a thyroid patient. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results.